Hello friends, uh, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to download and install Tiny11 on your PC. So what is Tiny11? It is a compact or stripped version of official Windows 11 based on version 2 to H2 and Pro Edition, which is modified by AntiDev. It is designed to run on less powerful computers and uh, only require 8 GB of storage and 2 GB of RAM for the installation. And if you own a device with ARM64 architecture, then you can also install Tiny11 on it as well. The latest version of Tiny11 install Windows 11 version 2 to S2 and bypass various system requirements set by Microsoft to install Windows 11 which includes requirements like TPM, Secure Boot and a PC need to be connected to internet connection and require Microsoft account during the installation. Tiny11 has cut out ton of bloatware and include only basic apps like Microsoft Store to download uh, apps accompanied by Microsoft apps like Calculator, Notepad, Paint, Windows Terminal and other. Out of the box, it doesn't have any web browser but that's not an issue because users can download Microsoft Edge from Microsoft Store to get started. Tiny11 is based on copy of Windows 11 from Microsoft. Although it's unofficial version of Windows 11, developer has uh, modified it in a way that you can also upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 Lite or Tiny11 like you upgrade from regular Windows 10 to Windows 11. Apart from this, you can also activate this copy of Windows installation using a digital license and a product key if you made up to this part of the video then i presume that you are aware of everything about uh, tiny 11 so let's learn how to download and install tiny 11 on your pc first of all you need a iso image of tiny 11 or windows 11 Lite version basically there are various sites available on the web that offering iso image of uh, tiny 11 but i suggest you to download it from uh, uh, archive.org where developer working behind it has uploaded officially this is the page you need to visit to download ISO image of a tiny 11 now head over to download options under it you will find ISO image and torrent file if you select ISO image there will be three ISO file options tiny 11 b1 has less bloatware as compared to official windows 11 ISO tiny 11 uh, b2 is bloatware free version tiny 11 b2 no system rack ISO file bypass minimum system requirement to install windows 11 now depending on your requirements uh, you can download preferred ISO image I suggest users to download tiny 11 b2 no system rack ISO file apart from this if you own a arm architecture device then you need to head over to this page to download ISO image of a Tiny11. You can check the blog post in the description to find direct links to reach these pages. Now that you have the ISO image of a Tiny11, let's create bootable a USB of Tiny11. For that, we'll be using third-party tool named Rufus. Open your default web browser and visit official website of Rufus. From there, download Rufus app. After that, open Rufus app and then insert USB into the PC. Now, in the application under devices section, you need to select the USB. After that, select the ISO image that uh, we have downloaded earlier and keep other settings as it is. At last, click on the start button and this will start the process of creating the bootable USB. The process will take around 5 to 10 minutes, so you need to wait. To find instructions in detail, you can check the link in the description for my previous video on how to create bootable USB of Windows 11 using Rufus. Now that you have the bootable USB of Tiny11, let's install it on the PC. Here is what you need to do. Insert the bootable USB of Tiny11 into the PC. After that, reboot your device. And when it turns on, keep pressing the boot selection key to bring the boot option menu on your device so that you can select Windows 11 bootable device to start the installation. Different devices have different keys to bring boot option menu. The common ones are Escape, F9, F12, F10, etc. Or you can search the web for your device. Once you select the bootable USB from the boot option menu, you will see the Windows setup screen like that. Here you need to select preferences depending on the region and click next. Once you reach here, create a new partition where you want to install the Tiny11, then select the partition. If you see this message that uh, you require 52 GB or above, then ignore it and click next. Now sit tight and wait for the installation to complete. Once 
Once done, PC will restart and show you the OOP setup screen. Again, keep following the on-screen instructions and select preferences depending on your region and requirements. During this process, your system reboots several times. Once setup is uh, completed, you will see the Windows 11 home screen. Congratulations, so you have successfully installed Tiny11 or Windows 11 Lite on your PC. Now let's uh, take a look at what it has and check the performance. If you open Start menu, you will find few pin apps which include a Store, Photos, Settings, Calculator, Notepad, Paint and File Explorer. And uh, if you click on the All Apps option, again you will find uh, very limited apps. Now under Accessibility folder, you will find important accessibility tools, live captions, a narrator and even more. Apart from this, uh, you will find same apps as available on the start menu accompanied by terminal and window security app also there is a windows tool app if you click on it you will find a uh, various useful windows management tool that you can use depending on your requirement next if you open a setting app and uh, head over to system and uh, about setting page you can see that installed ram is 2 gb addition is windows 11 pro version is 22 h2 if you switch to apps and uh, installed apps you can see that uh, very limited apps are installed out of the box if you switch to accounts tab you can see that uh, i am running uh, windows with local account but uh, if you want uh, you can uh, link your microsoft account as well for that click on the sign in button and uh, here uh, you need to enter your microsoft account credentials and uh, you are good to go after that if you switch to uh, windows update tab and uh, start checking for the updates you can see that uh, you will find uh, regular security updates as well so that's cool right if you switch to personalization settings you will only find uh, the light theme and uh, there will be no dark theme it would be great if developer has added the dark theme as well as it is one of the most demanded feature from the users if you open microsoft store and click on the get updates button you will receive updates for app install installed on the PC which you can download as well and guess what you don't need a Microsoft account for doing all these things apart from this uh, you can install other apps Microsoft store as well this is one of the best thing about tiny 11 that you don't need a Microsoft account for downloading updates for app if you open file explorer and right click on the windows installation drive that is C drive and select properties you will find out that it only uses 10 to 12 GB of storage space which is uh, pretty good right if you open task manager you will notice that it runs with very limited background processes as a result consume very less system resources you can check this uh, information under performance tab out of the box you will not find any web browser when you install tiny 11 on your pc but you can download microsoft edge from microsoft store to get started and later using it you can download any browser of your choice i thought it would be possible to uninstall microsoft edge like any other app but no once you install uh, edge browser on tiny 11 there will be no option to uninstall it. I think developers should work on this. Overall, Windows 11 Lite or Tiny 11 is great for those users who own PC with low configuration and unable to install Windows 11 due to TPN, secure boot and other system requirements as this uh, OS will bring life to those PCs. But you should not forget that there is no official support for this OS which means it will not update automatically and make it exposed to online threats. So that's all about uh, this video. What is your opinion about Tiny 11? Are you going to install it on your PC? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you find this video useful, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more similar videos.